happening today. The federal corruption trial of Senator Bob Menendez will resume in Manhattan. The defense for the New Jersey lawmaker and one of his co-defendants rested their cases last week. The third and final co-defendant is expected to call another witness today. Menendez accused of accepting cash, gold bars, and a luxury automobile for political influence. He has pleaded not guilty. Boeing has accepted a plea deal to avoid a criminal trial over two deadly 737 MAX crashes. According to a court filing, Boeing has agreed to plead guilty to one count of conspiracy to defraud the FAA and will enter a three-year probation period. The company has also agreed to pay more than $243 million in additional fines and more than $400 million for new compliance and safety programs. The tentative deal must be approved by a federal judge. The 2018 and 2019 crashes killed 346 people. And now to campaign 2024. President Biden faces a critical few days in Washington as he hosts world leaders for a NATO summit. He spent the weekend on the campaign trail to shore up more support after repeated calls from members of his own party to drop out of the race. CBS News' Jared Hill has the latest. You have to convince NATO. President Joe Biden leaving Pennsylvania defiant in the face of questions about whether he's fit to serve another term. The president saying he's up for the job, even as members of his own party push for him to bow out of the 2024 race. We got a lot to do, folks, but we can do it. We're on the cusp of getting so much done. On the ground, the president got support from the state's Democratic governor and two U.S. senators. I am proud to stand right here next to this president right now. He's my president. He's your president. But over the weekend, more House Democrats publicly called on Mr. Biden to step aside. And CBS News has learned that during a virtual meeting Sunday, at least four senior House Democrats said the president should end his bid for re-election. That's according to one person on the call and three others familiar with the meeting. Others on the call reportedly expressed reservations but stopped short of calling for his withdrawal. Either he has to win overwhelmingly or he has to pass the torch to someone who can't. It, it's as simple as that. Even Pennsylvania voters who support the president are split over the path forward. He's a fantastic man and he's done wonderful stuff but it's time for him to leave. The party should stand up, stand behind him and stop all the rhetoric and backbiting. President Biden Biden has a jam-packed week hosting the NATO summit in Washington, during which he'll also hold his first solo U.S. news conference in several months. Jared Hill, CBS News. President Biden will campaign again at the end of the week with a rally in Michigan. His Republican challenger, former President Donald Trump, has rallies planned in Florida and Pennsylvania. And look for continuing coverage on the race for the White House on air and online at cbsnewyork.com. Skydance Media and Paramount Global have agreed to merge in a deal worth around $8 billion. The move would end the Redstone family's longtime stewardship of Paramount. Both companies say they'll create a new Paramount, which they believe will be a next generation media and technology leader. The merger is expected to be finalized next year pending closing conditions. Paramount is the parent company of CBS News.